Hi, I will quickly walk you through the process of filtering users and creating segments. To start, click on create audience. Here you have the option either to create a custom audience or select from default e-commerce audience list suggested over here. For this walkthrough, we will choose a custom audience. Now uh, you can filter the audience uh, either by user or by group. Then based on that, you can choose uh, common properties like by demographic or by technology or by UTM parameters or by user traits or by events. For this, uh, let's uh, consider as a by events. Uh, so when user do or perform any activities on your website called as an events so select any appropriate event from the drop down like page view add it to cart category view checkout main or uh, consider one scenario when a uh, user has viewed the product but not met the checkout so search for product viewed has occurred uh, greater than equal to one yeah select the date range as a static or dynamic you can add the attributes if available and then add the action and combine it with and or or condition let's take a and condition and take an action as a checkout not occurred select the date range as a static or dynamic and here we have taken a scenario when user has viewed the product but not made the checkout and combined it with the action and it means user has to match both the criteria now click on run query which will display the number of user that matches the criteria and you can now click on view audience where able to see the uh, list of audience or uh, that matches the criteria then uh, you can save the audience by clicking on the save an active button give the name give the refresh interval click on save an active and now you can able to see that audience has been created successfully in the system yeah and now you are ready to sync this with the destinations like Facebook and Google AdWords. You can also see the status of audience under the active tab. If you turn off the toggle, the audience it can be moved to the arcued and you won't able to sync it with the destination or refresh it. And if you serve the audience as a draft, you can able to see that audience under the draft. You are still able to activate the audience that is served as a draft or arcued audience. Uh, for example, if I turn off this toggle, you can move to the arcued and click on this edit icon, click on run query. So, click on save and active. Give the audience name, refresh interval, and click on save and active button. Audience has been saved and now you can able to sync it with the destination. Check out the link below for more videos on segmentations and how to sync it with the destination. Thank you.